Welcome to another Moz Play video. This is Moz Mojito, and today we're going to be picking up where we left off with No One Survived. Let's get to it. All right, and we're back here. Where we last left off, we had just found a pretty decent spot to set up kind of a mini camp. Uh, we're right around the corner from a mine. Um, I can't remember what kind of resources is in the mine, but um, we figured this would be a pretty good spot to start off with our first kind of um, beginning base. It has a, a nice open area. It's overlooking uh, kind of the mountaintop so you can see if there's any threats coming your way and it doesn't have happen to be an area where there's a lot of forest trees growing right here at this spot so we have access to plenty of lumber and then once we get this built up we'll have access to a cave or actually a mine that has some other resources so right now I'm just trying to figure out the placement system obviously if it's red that means that you cannot put it put that down um, so um, I'm still new to the game at this point and just trying to figure out what works, what can be placed, what cannot. Um, obviously green is good, red, you can't put it there. Or I don't have the resources for it there, but it's very similar to the game um, Infected, where you can pre-position um, building pieces there it turns blue until you give it all the resources you need uh, to complete that construction so so right now we're just gonna kind of go around and see this is really more experimental mode for me since this is a very first base that I'm building on this game trying to figure out what works and what doesn't I know that this game now I know this game relies heavily on support so if you don't have the pillar support you really can't build anything um, worthwhile. So um, we'll just kind of go through this and I'll keep my comments to a minimum.
So I have kind of a love-hate relationship when it comes to gathering resources in this game. Um, this early on, I don't have a lot of backspace and I don't have a lot of strength. So although I need a lot of resources to, to build these um, this house, my bags fill up really quick and I'm constantly over encumbered. So, Fortunately, I was able to speed this up for you guys, but during normal game speed, well, I just took some damage from that log. But from in normal game speed, it's just me walking very, very slowly back to base, dropping off resources, going back out, chopping more trees and walking right back to base. So this is just a cycle that's just part of I guess any kind of survival game where you need to collect resources and bring it back to finish out a construction. But like I said, I have kind of a love hate relationship with that. I do enjoy doing it. I do go out, enjoy chopping trees and mining rocks or ores or whatever. I just don't like the sucky part of having to walk encumbered over encumbered um, back to where I need to deliver the resources. So I'm not sure why it's saying I'm missing resources. I have plenty of resources, but what I do need is a box so I can put these sticks down because these sticks are really taking up majority of my inventory. So I'm going to find a good storage system and pop that down. And then as we're out picking up sticks, at least we have a place we can come back and drop them off because I'm sure the sticks would be important. not quite sure what this is. I think this has to do with claiming the area. It's very similar to um, the No One Survives. Uh, not to, <laughs> this is No One Survives, but it's very similar to Seven Days to Die, where you have to kind of put some kind of land claim down so that the zombies don't respawn right into your base. So I'm sure this is something very similar, so. But the first priority is trying to figure out a way to offload some of these sticks, either through a storage box or if they have some kind of stick holder. I'll go ahead and put that up and and this should make it a little bit easier to go back and forth collecting uh, lumber.
Okay, this will do nicely. I found the storage system here. We have a log rack, we have a stick rack. Uh, definitely need the stick rack and the log rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those down. And then at least we can come back and forth and fill these racks up. Um, saves us a little bit of time. But I still have a long ways to go for gathering. This thing is snapping in places that I don't want it to snap. But, um, early on in the game, these are the kind of struggles you can expect to have. Just trying to understand their strange uh, snapping and building system. Looks like I got a, some bandages here, some water. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and um, use these materials, not only to free up space, but to make sure that my food and water levels are, are pretty decent. Because as you can see, my stamina level is 11 out of 100, so that's going to make things go a lot slower. But definitely want to top off the food and water levels. I have some some food in here so that's gonna give me back some stamina and I also have a first aid kit but it looks like my health is a hundred out of a hundred uh, actually I was looking at the wrong thing um, that was the virus level my health uh, went up to 74 out of 101 so that helps and now eating the food that helps out um, my stamina a bit and it brings my food level up to 90 out of 100 so so we should move a little bit better here and uh, we, st we have the log um, stand down so that helps so now we need to definitely put a stick stand down and that's going to free up our inventory space a lot too We try not to move too much because when you stand still, everything gets nice and detailed and sharp. But when you're moving around too much, it gets a little pixelated. So we'll limit our movement to just kind of when we're out gathering resources. We'll work on the, the resolution in the future episodes.
yeah so putting this storage system down really helps out a lot and um mm. You can actually see the building area that we have is pretty wide um, with that land claim uh, machine put down. But we just have a little bit more resources uh, to collect as far as wood and sticks. And then at least we will have the floor down. We still haven't even started on the walls and the roof if we, if we even decide to go that far with it. Right now, this is just really kind of a practice base. Um, I don't think this is going to be our final building location, but we figure we'll just have something over here in case we are, are in the neighborhood, either collecting trees, stone, or uh, once we go explore the cave, if we're collecting resources from that cave, at least we have a close drop off point until we do a final base uh, location. Um, I'm going to probably look to build more in the center of the map. so. I'm close to a large city and um, I'm not too far away from other major points of interest. So, um, but we have no shortage of sticks, that's for sure. They just kind of respawn right back in after you pick them up. It takes a little bit of time, but they do just kind of appear um, very similar to infected in many other survival games. Uh, just because you clear an area out, the resources do respawn eventually. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and craft this up a stone axe since we broke our last one, apparently. Oh, perfect. So this is the huge map here that we're talking about. It has changed a lot over the last versions. I'm thinking I'm probably going to build somewhere closer to that major city that my mouse was on. Um, that's probably going to give me a lot more opportunity to loot houses and factories and storefronts. Uh, probably just be a better spot all around. This one seems to be in, more in the middle of nowhere and I would still have to travel to the nearest big city to really get some good looting on. So um, for now, like I said earlier, this will be our starter point. Just kind of figuring out the big building mechanics and hopefully we can build something decent. Chopping these trees are kind of a pain. You really gotta crouch down just to hit them. So. Oh well, but that's pretty pretty typical with a lot of uh, survival games or games where you need lumber 
sometimes it's so low to the ground that you do have to bend down and do a little chopping and picking up. So um, par for the course. All right, and this is the very last foundation. We have now completed at least what our kind of platform for the base. We haven't put any walls up or second levels, but again, this is kind of a practice little joint here. We're just getting used to the building mechanics and at least we have quite a bit of wood um, as far as sticks, especially. We can make a ton of arrows. Uh, if we find the right material, but we have plenty of wood and logs and looking at the menus here, um, we have some things that potentially we can unlock. Uh, crafting table requires a log and some stone. And I guess once you unlock that, everything underneath it unlocks as well. So I just have to make sure I have a log and stone in my inventory and then I could just kind of work my way down making sure that I have the required materials in my backpack at the time that I'm looking on it. So I know I have logs and I know I have stones. So now I should be able to unlock that first technology. Let's see if I can get back to the menu that I was just looking at. Okay, so that's my inventory. Here we go. Huh. 
One, okay, three stones. I only picked up one stone. And here's my current condition. I haven't really fought any zombies, so that's why my numbers are so low. Um, but I do need to get some more stone. And we still got quite a few things that we can craft, but I'm sure that this is going to expand as we level up and as we build new items is probably going to grow the things that we can craft and put together. So I haven't really figured out the foundation system here as far as the support system. So that's probably something that we're going to continue to look into in future videos and get better at because um, when I first started playing this game a long time ago, when it first came out, as far as like a little demo, um, I had no idea about them having a building system. I thought it was just kind of like go around and hunt zombies and make a sleeping bag and just kind of sleep in houses, point of interest, uh, cities and towns. But I do like the base building aspect really uh, is on par with all the other survival type games. So it makes it a lot more interesting and engaging that you have to actually put down roots and uh, safe zone, you know, that was a really good borrowing tactic from some of the other games uh, infected. Um, the um, Seven Days to Die. Um, quite a few more uh, survival games out there that, that have this system. So um, at this point, I was just kind of peruse the uh, menus and um, I do need to unlock that crafting technology, but as soon as I figure out that I need more stones, um, I'll be able to do that. So at this point in the game, I think we're going to go ahead and put a bookmark in this video. And we're going to come back and continue on with this journey on No One Survives. I really like this game. Uh, so far, so good. So uh, as always, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.